What's Woo-hoo. up, hot makers? Welcome to Hot Makes right here on the other check, where we aim to educate and entertain the maker community. Pooch, how you doing? I'm great, dude. You know what? I just realized. I always realize this just before we start the stream. I had like no less than 782 windows open on my computer, <laughs> and I was just like, close, 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 close. Control W, Control W. Control. You know, it just can't happen fast enough. But uh, I think I got it all cleaned up. I'm down to like only 17 tabs open, so we'll see. Hopefully, it'll come to. A screeching halt or turn into a robot like last time or any of that yeah hope, hopefully not and what was really crazy this time is i hit the did you hear the music behind the intro yeah yeah i didn't so i was like hmm that's odd i hope i have vo- i hope i have audio when we come in one of these days we're gonna get perfect man we're gonna yeah. narrow it and then we're gonna retire no one would have ever known if i didn't say anything hey everybody i'm sorry we're late it's my fault i was looking for a, a link and I couldn't find it, and I wanted to get it so we could share it today. Yeah, a link. It's <laughs> all right, man. I covered for you. I covered for you. Yeah, yeah. good. Oh, what did you? Let's see. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry oh, about it. Hey, we, got, we got a full house tonight, man. We got everybody in here. Uh, just amazing. Yeah, some people, we- some new, some old. Uh, Dan 3D. Oh. Greetings. Sarah Johnson. Rob. Yeah, oh, a lot of people I see we've got. Uh, queued up for the hot mix. Yeah. It's going to be a good show. Is, is Lindsay here? Jim needs a spanking. Uh-oh. What did she's, I do? She's always here. She's I'm always here. Yeah. She's actually probably sitting on the other side of the garage um, in the patio right now with the baby. Uh, free pizza. There's free pizza in the green room. Um, I, if I'm I must I might be mistaken. Your name might be Marcel, the off-access FPV. Um, I could be totally wrong about that. But, yes, there's free. All you have to do is go in the green room. You'll find the free pizza. Yeah. Free pizza in the green room. Yeah. We, we, uh, treat, our, we treat our guests right. Nice. Uh, Alien, I'm not here. Still fawning on my. I guess or, rails. I guess rails. Oh, playing with a full house. Now I got big brain. Um, that's about it. But that's okay. Actually, super cool. He's sleeping like. Let's say five to seven hours now. I mean, that's a that's a pretty good. He got over eight the other day, so I'm proud of that. I get sleep through the night pretty much. So, For, I mean, man, eight hours at, at this age that's uh that's awesome. I mean, he's gonna he's he's three months going on twelve. So yeah, right. Well, knock wood that that stays, man. It's consistency wins the day, though. You know, he could right. be a one. Hopefully, he's not a one trick pony here, just like a one time one hit wonder. I mean, you know, with the the eight hour nap. Right. We'll see. I got my fingers crossed for you both. <laughs> he says he gets more sleep than I do. That's what Josh just said. But uh, well, well, welcome another week. How was your week? Uh, it was a good week. Uh, productive, uh, hot. You know, was, we're, we're not we're no stranger to the heat here on the hot mix, but uh, no literal. You know, California just straight. You know, high nineties, hundreds for the last you know so many weeks, and so it's like I was saying before the show, it's like. I, I have maximum productivity like in the early morning hours, and then it's just like in the afternoon. It's, it's a good thing we had this now. I can kind of come crash out in the AC and um, relax. I'd, I'd be doing that anyway. It's just too hot right. out in the workshop right now. Nice. Well, yeah. it's been hot and humid here. Um, it is gorgeous right now. I think for the next week to 10 days, they're forecasting. Of course, that could be just 50% right. Who knows? But, but uh, they're forecasting like – mid 70s to 80s um 60s at night and low humidity which is perfect i'll take that all day yeah right man that's awesome that's a that's a ideal for you huh does wisconsin does wisconsin weather get much better than that not really Mm. i mean it's either usually it's snowing and and 20 below or humid and hot and yeah a few good days we'll take them all though we'll take them all because you know if you complain about the cold we only get like two months of warm weather, here. <laughs> maybe yeah. three. But yeah. uh, you know, then you complain about the cold, and that's the uh, you know all the other months. So, so Kit, to answer your question, uh, Nerdy J, Nerdy J is in Wisconsin, uh, closer closer to the East Coast. I'm on the West Coast in California, so we got all our different climates we're dealing with. He's been dealing with a lot more rain and stuff, and it's just been heat, heat, heat where I am right now. So yeah. anyway. So we got we got people from all over the world here, and so it's like everybody's like, "Wait, where are you right now?" Beauty. <laughs> well, Chris Travis says we live in the Midwest, so the weather's always wrong. That is a true story. It could be snowing right now in like twenty minutes; it'll be like eighty degrees. It's it's crazy. Yeah. What is the border 
for the Midwest? You know what? Because you're not West, really. Why do they? It's always been called the Midwest, right? I, I but would. You're say more East. About midway. Mid midway <laughs> of the West. <laughs> of it's the all West. West, and you're about halfway through the all of the West, even then <laughs> East. He's in Israel. He said, "Oh man, uh, yeah." Isn't it like middle of the night in Israel right now? What time is it? Probably, oh. yeah. Wow, crazy. We're right yeah. next to the East Coast, <laughs> yeah. Mississippi. Nice. Well, well, um, I had a good week. Put out some videos this week. Um, I want to hit on one. We talked a little bit about this before. Uh, Let's so, do it. so we Let's had it. one that that may have posed a little bit of controversy in oh, the yeah. world of everybody out there, and uh. We apologize for for any ill intention or any, yeah, it, it wasn't intended to, to cause any controversy. Basically, nah. what we did was um, I had an Ender 3 Pro to build that was sent to me, and uh, I already had did some. So I, I challenged my wife, Lindsay. I was like, do you <laughs> want to do this? But why don't you build it? And she's never done anything like that before. No. And um, I said, here's the thing. You can... Go on camera. I'll leave you alone. You do whatever you want. Build it. I'll edit it, and we'll throw it up. Um, so she's like, "Yeah, I'll do it." it. She was a great sport about it and everything. And and Lindsay is a um, she's an introvert. She doesn't do. Uh, she's an introvert with extrovert hobbies. We'll say that she has her band, right? Yeah, I was gonna say. Other than, other than like that, and maybe karaoke and stuff. Otherwise, she's like, "I'll hide in the corner. I'll hang out. I'll read a book, and I'm fine." Right. Right. So being being on camera, especially by yourself, isn't her thing, right? Um, and and especially doing something she's never done before, so way out of her com comfort zone. So she does this video. She does a, a great job. I don't know if anybody. Um, uh, let's see. I don't know if anybody out there watched it. Let me know in the chat if you did. Yeah, um, a bunch it, of there was there was plenty of footage of her wife. It, it, there's a whole video out there, Kit. Um, of my wife building it and and so um so she did she did a great job and then she i said how about you make the thumbnail and i'll put it up well she what she did was she took one of the pictures and and she made a thumbnail that said can she do it yeah um Oof. we already know she did do it and i knew she could do it but it was it clickbait i don't know but so what I did not, maybe, but not in the way that that probably came across yeah. that caused it to be controversial, right? Right, yeah. right. So I, yeah. I threw it out there, and then I, I hit all the under three, four, or all the under three groups with it. And my fault, I didn't even think about it. And, and now I'll, I'll take this one. I said, Hey, this one's for the ladies with a smiley face. Sent the link, it was my wife with a picture says, Can she do it? I didn't mean anything by that at all. And if you knew me for five minutes, you'd understand that. I mean, I. <laughs> we have some amazing makers of all genders and races and everything. And I don't, you know, discriminate against anyone, but uh, some people didn't like that. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, I mean, that's, that's just anytime you put anything on the internet, there's always going to be somebody that finds a way to lose their stuff about anything. Right. And so, eh, whatever, you can't beat yourself up too much about it, but I think the premise was good. I yeah. like what you did. I think it's a great way to put your wife to work, which I'm sure was your intention for the whole. <laughs> cancel Jim. Chris Goulart is canceled. Cancel, cancel you've been canceled, Jim. Sorry. That was your no, shot. And, um, and I, I get it. I, I pretty much, we just, I mean, we pretty much just, um, I didn't ignore everybody, but I responded when I wanted to respond and stuff. But uh, just so y'all know, there was no, like, no hard feelings. I don't, it, I didn't mean to be misogynistic or sexist or anything like that um it was just yeah, a, anybody that spent any time or knows you knows that that's not the yeah. case and that's all that matters right and we had fun i mean that's, that's the thing sure. she had she had fun doing this at the very end of the video you could tell she was done she had been down there for hours <laughs> and, uh, but um but she had fun with it and uh, you know and if you watch the video if anyone were to watch the video um i don't know how many minutes in there's a cut and I actually recorded when, when I put the baby to sleep and Lindsay was sleeping and I put it in the video about how proud I was of her and all of that. 
You just have to get there to watch it. <laughs> like, <sighs> and that's so, the thing. Anybody that was critical about it probably didn't even watch the video, right? Yeah. So no, because yeah. there was comments like, "How was it though?" I'm curious because I because I don't want to watch it, and I was like. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Like, <laughs> I guess the thumbnail didn't do its job then, right? It didn't yeah. actually it, click it. But yeah. it's okay. Again, anyone out there that was offended, I apologize. We didn't mean to uh, offend anyone. Um, we were just having fun. Lindsay had a great time. She had fun with the thumbnail. She redid the thumbnail. So the thumbnail on the video is different now if you go look. Um, so the old one's like a collector's edition or something. But, but, uh, <laughs> But yeah, it was, it was a good time, and I appreciate all the great comments in here. I know uh, a lot of people that do follow us jumped on people right away. Like, <laughs> so yeah. I appreciate the defense there too. Um, and yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, it, it, whatever you know, <laughs> le lesson learned. Write it off. What? What? Whatever. Yeah. I mean, at the there's a, haters gonna hate as they always always say. So. It's all good. Well, we we changed the thumbnail, and now it says like something like newbie build a 3d printer i don't even remember what she even put on the new one because i i forgot but um but yeah it was a fun video and she actually had a lot of if you watch the video you could tell as soon as i get out of there she's immediately like having fun with it so good it's all good it's but a, that, was, it, that was fun it, 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 it just to you know speak to it i think it's always good to see uh what it's like having somebody that's never been through any of this before right. Right. what the process feels like to them what's intuitive like as a as a maker myself or as a, a product developer myself like i'm always really interested in that kind of stuff so <laughs> so i think there's there's good lessons to be learned yeah you know the thumbnail thing whatever you know put it to it. the into the sea of deleted <laughs> thumbnails or deleted tweets of, you know, hey battle cry is this a fat joke i'm not sure <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Yeah, it's only fair. She gave it, now. It's your turn to yeah. can oh, and can man. he do it? Yeah, I'm gonna go. No, I'm gonna go with no. He can't do it. Well, and and what's funny because some people are commenting like you should have, you know, put yourself in the corner like commenting on you know watching commenting on how she was doing and stuff, and I'm like. Like color commentary, yeah. Well, I mean, like two of us down in the corner, right? And it's like yeah, a yeah. sport event, and we're like, "Oh, oh, she goes with the wrong yeah. spinner on that one." I don't know how would she recover. That's the wrong size <laughs> Allen wrench for that. <laughs> no, but uh, she. But the thing is, like Lioness Tech Tips did a video where with him and another guy where their wives built computers, and it was like a challenge, and they did that. They can get away with that. <laughs> so no, no, it was all well, good. But speaking of fun. builds. I don't know if you've been following what I've been. I've been kind of. I haven't been posting nearly as much about it because I I'm not as good about documenting all the things I do the way that you do. Um, because you know as well as I do, it takes like three times as long to get something done. And right now, sure. I've got just got to get stuff done. But but one of the projects I've been working on is we got these 25 Mark threes. Yeah, I saw all the uh, bins and all that. And, yeah. And I gotta tell you, man, it's uh, it's been a really interesting. So I've had a Mark III for a while. This is this was one of my OG ones back here um, when the Mark III first came out. I, I ordered that, and you know the cool thing about three D printing, as we all know, but three uh, D printing as it relates to product development is it's a fantastic opportunity to offer continuous improvement to your customer. So unlike you know when you buy a car and you have to wait for a new model year to get really the bulk. Of the right. updates, right? They'll run a model year for four, three, four years, right, right. five years, whatever, and then they'll do a whole overhaul, right? So continual improvement is, is like, hey, we have the main product, the Mark III, but the truth is, is there's been all kinds of variants on and improvements to the various components of it throughout the years, and it's really neat to watch how that's evolved, and then to work backwards from something that they developed to be built one at a time, and try to engineer a process for mass, you know, assembly, right. um, which is not a common use case, right? That's obviously not something everybody's not trying to build a print farm, right. but, um, I am trying to document and keep track of the amount of time and invest time in kind of resorting the parts and binning them together by step and then kind of tweaking the steps a little bit as I see, uh, uh, and it's been just a fun process to try to make the whole thing go faster because, you know, the first time I built a Mark three, I think it took me eight hours, which is oh, wow. not great. Uh, you know, I think, I think on average, what do they say the average build time is for a Mark three? I want to say it's like six, seven, 
somewhere in there, but it's, it's a better part of a day. You know, it's not a, it's not like, you know, the CR 10 or any of those where it's just like, Hey, stand up the, you know, gantry right. and bolt it on, you know, you're, you're, you're doing the, the, the whole shebang. And, uh, so, so I'm really curious, like how much I can actually bring that time down because if it took me eight hours, if it took me like a day to build, you know, I, that's a, that's a whole month of time of just building printers nonstop. And I'm like, right. gotta be a better way. Right. So I'm trying to document it and hopefully I can share back. So if anybody does this, cause you know, I know Linus over Linus tech tips and stuff there, there've been occasions where kind of bigger creators have, have got these things and then they realize what a massive undertaking right. it is. And then they ended up, I think, giving away a bunch of them because they didn't just have the time to do what they originally yeah. wanted to do. Uh, you know, some of them built some of them for them and then some of his production team did it, but there's always a better way. Right. So anyway, I'll, right, right. I'll be, I'll be uh, eager to kind of share thoughts as we go, or at least, at least what my results are on time. But well, I know. can we, can we keep update? Uh, are you doing that on Twitter updates or? Yeah, I've been doing just little Twitter updates here, but I, I actually, what I did was I created a Google doc um, that I can ultimately share where I kind of broke down. So the, the build guide has got, you know, step, um, Chapter one is like the Y axis, then it does the X axis, then it's a, it's, it, you know, there's a, di there's a different process. And then I kind of split some of those out and reordered them based on what I thought made a little bit more sense, but, uh, nice. you know, <laughs> but I'll, yes, I'll do my best to share back because, you know, in the spirit of open source, it's open source hardware right. and you know, who knows, you know, other people want to create a farm, uh, using Mark three. I mean, there's a reason this is one of the most time tested printers there is that, you know, out there proven because it prints itself. You know, the, right, the, right. the poster child for the rep rap project. So there you right. go. I, I agree. Yeah. It's, um, it's interesting when you have many, so I'm curious what you find. I mean, it's, it's, it's really cool to be able to look at it all and say, what's the best process to take this pile of parts for many machines and, and put it together. So that's cool. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, anytime you want to shoot one out here, I'll help you put it together. Uh, <laughs> on stream virtually yeah yeah they're all they're all in parts at this point now too but i, I really I, I i can't encourage you enough to just kind of get familiar if you have a chance to get one or whatever like we got to get you one because it's it's really a neat build sure. and it's a really cool insight into the you know engineering that you know they did right. over at the czech republic and it's the most cloned platform right out right. there you know what? for a reason too what? no <laughs> nice well i tell you um, speaking of cloned platform, that brings me into my uh, my hot or not. We're gonna do a hot or not today. Let's do it. Hot or not, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know. Let us know. Is this hot or not? All right. So you might recognize this. Uh, this is this is what Carl's working on. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Okay, good. <laughs> All of a sudden, you look like you went silent. I was like, no, <laughs> nice. So I'm gonna pop this up. I'm gonna pop this up full screen so it's a little better. So this this uh, is, is what Carl's working on. It is a, uh, a Prusa MK3 belt. So um, he's, I don't know what he really named it. He asked uh, like last week what he should name this thing. If it's the belt bear or the, you know, belt a bear or, or whatever you want to call it. But that sounds um, abusive to bears. Yeah. <laughs> belt a bear. <laughs> to bears. Um, what do you think? I mean, taking an, an MK3, it looks like, and dropping a belt under it. Well, look, I, it's no, it's no, secret that i'm a huge fan of belt printing and i've been saying i want a belt printer forever uh you know and i still have yet to actually follow through and i bought the printer belt um but you know obviously now we've had the squire there's the cr30 like we're just seeing more and more options out there and i'm still amazed that there's not more people latching on to you know what carl is doing here because i i, I just love seeing this development and i don't know if it's the fear of the patent infringement, which really shouldn't matter in this space unless you're looking to commercialize it, which it's is just not. The belt, though I think, what's that? It's just the belt part. I thought so. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Well, it's it's late. It's a multiple there. So she's got the bare upgrade kit to the i3. So that's already using the extrusion kit and some you know different prints, uh, oh, printed yeah, parts yeah. for that. And then he's expanded on it to allow for, for right. a belt system, which is awesome. Like which I, is open, which is all open source. Yep. Right. 
Yep. Um, now I believe it is a bear upgrade, Christopher. Um, he he says need to add the bear extrusions. It is, I believe. Um, <laughs> best best comment of the night. Greg's maker corner. <laughs> no. <laughs> but but I mean, belt. There you go. Yeah. So so I mean, I love this idea. I love the idea of taking a very uh. Good, common plat- clap- reliable common platform, platform yep. right? Yep, yep. And then, and then dropping something like a belt on it. Um, and I, I think it's going to be awesome. I'm, I'm just curious, uh, you know, how it all works out. If it, I know his printers that he builds actually print at an angle, right? So I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't appear that this is going to do that, but maybe it'll yeah. just print and then roll forward and then print again right. and roll forward. Which is actually a great printer to be doing. They're like, look, as somebody that's trying to run a print farm and stuff, like this is the holy grail, right? Automation. Like right. I, I want just it to spit endless parts, right? And it's only a matter of time. Like it's going to happen. But, you know, it, it, the, the, the thing I'm curious about, one of the best benefits of the Mark III platform, in my opinion, is the support and the continual improvement on the software side too. I mean, they're rolling updates for this thing constantly, there we, right? There we and so – you there don't you want to create a fork necessarily, although you know he's going to have to in this case because obviously there's no case for a, <laughs> right. You know, uh, a belt, but but would be great to to you know have it maintain the same support path and sure. up, upgrade path of you know as the firmware. So Carl uh, just sent me this. This is a direct picture of it. Um, I, li- I, I like the orange extrusion, man. I That's do, awesome. yeah. I love that. It looks good. It matches. It, I mean, it, it looks great, Carl. I think. Uh, I think. Let us know in the comments what you think. I think this is hot, hot, hot. That's just maybe I'm biased. I think we, it's we need to. And so Josh brings up a really good point here, Alien 3D, uh, about the patent because everybody's always talking about the belt printer patent. So the the story, as as I understand it, is um, um, uh, printer, uh, not printer, but um, come on, replicator, MakerBot, MakerBot. owns the. Uh, sorry, brain fart there. Um, does own a patent on continu- uh, on belt printing in w- where it's perpendicular to the belt like this right and right. so part of the reason that when bill Steele uh and and brooke and everybody that's and and carl went to the angle was because that that does circumvent the patent as far as from what bill has told me all the research right. he's done on says that is novel enough to not be part of that patent uh, that said you know MakerBot's not doing anything but they still do own the patent so Here's the question, though. As a hobbyist, if you're just making your own and you can, as long as you're not commercializing it, right. I don't think that's an issue, right? It's the minute so, that you start yeah, that's, selling that's it, what, that's a uh, problem. Carl just said. He said, it's not illegal to build it yourself for personal use. You can't profit from building them. Um, so does that mean that anything that is patented, like if you happen to get plans for it or reverse engineer it, my assumption is you can build yourself one all you want. The patent is really just to protect the business owner from 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 financial harm. Sure, from some deals, right? And 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 I get it, but I mean, yeah, I, I to me, you're just selling a box of parts. Well, know? okay, yeah, so and instructions, I suppose. I yeah, guess that's where it gets dicey. What if you what if you sold the instructions, and then. Um, on the instructions told you what parts to buy. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm just, but, but so Dr. Jekyll says, I'm not a fan of the belt just because I don't have a need for it, but it's hot. But here's the thing, you know, what if you don't know you have a need for it? What are the cool things that you could do with this? Uh, not only replicate stuff over and over theoretically, like Carl's other printers, um, you could build something super long. Nope. Not with that. Not, Not with you, need, you need the angle to do the. Yeah, you do okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, yep. Well, you could. Here's somebody says throw a second extruder on there, so it can crank out identical parts. Sure. Uh, or two more. Um, I mean, that that would be interesting if you added a second gantry. Uh, you know, that we're used to thinking IDEX where there's you know two independent heads on the same X gantry and stuff, but it would create an interesting scenario if you had a second gantry where you could actually instead of tool changing you know you 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 would you would have it roll over and do another layer with the other it just seems like it'd be overkill 
you know, to do it that way, but it's, ah, it's theoretically possible. Here you go. You can make your own and publish your findings, but you can't profit from the work. That's why he says donate to support the channel and the future development. Okay. And uh, we, we had a comment too about, I don't think you can't use it and then sell parts that are made on it as well, because you would still technically be financially benefiting from it. So this is interesting. Uh, that's really we, weird. Yeah. I would love to get a patent lawyer on at some point and actually like come up I think with we should because, because I mean, my, my theory is, um, I mean, I love the design. I think that's how I, I really would love a belt printer as well. Uh, for any other reason just to say i have one but i mean like the biggest thing is you can really do some cool stuff with it um someone says they're just going to continuously print benchies um <laughs> it's the sea of sailing benchies it cannot print chocolate and oh i can't get a chocolate printer for my channel after i looked at the price of that tim from th3d they just had samantha and um just as i think on doing it and and uh, I saw the price of that printer, and I was like, "Nope, sorry, honey, we can't get a chocolate printer." Um, <laughs> they call it, they should call it the Lucy, right? Because it prints the chocolate, and then they gotta, but make it happen really fast, and they got you gotta package them as yeah. you go. See, that's the other the other benefit. Like as a an industrial tool, like a belt is phenomenal because now you've got yeah. you can do inline finishing and and go no go, right. you know, quality control checks, and uh, you know all kinds of interesting stuff that that you know, oh, this is opened up. Uh, to answer right. Greg's question, as far as I know, MakerBot's not doing anything with the patent. No, they're just sitting on it, right? I mean... I don't know how old the patent is, too, but isn't the uh, utility patents are, what, 13-year expiration? Oh, supposedly Stratus has a industrial-level belt printer. Um, oh. But didn't they... Wasn't it the black belt or something like that? Is that what, that what we're the, talking the about? The black right? belt is... Was it France? It was a... Uh, yeah, they were one of the first to market with a belt, an angled belt printer, as I recall, and it used that carbon fiber belt. And I actually got to see one when I was in, in Prague at, at Prusa's headquarters, and Prusa was not a fan. So, um, you know, he, he didn't go into all the details, but he said the yeah. belt material wasn't great. It wasn't refined, you know, to the point, and it was super expensive for what it was, too. So, go <laughs> thank figure. you so much, uh, Marcel. I love the super sticker. That's phenomenal. Uh, 99 uh ca is that canadian 99 Most that great. is that looks like it yes nice Can, thank you i really appreciate it is that a loony a loony a toony a loony would be <laughs> yeah, a money. um but yeah I, some some people were saying uh and, and tim actually just jumped in some people were saying 1200 bucks is a steal if it has all the certifications for that chocolate printer and and Chocolate printer. I, I I know Tim has been printing with it, and Matt from Akuma Mods said he's had his since November. Now, if you were into baking, and I'm trying to get some people on soon that probably would love this thing because they could set down a cookie, like a control. theoretically, right? Sure. I don't know. I, these guys could tell me if that's true or not. But couldn't you set down a cookie, have it do a, a sweet design, just like quick cookie top design, yeah. and then keep going? I mean. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, there there are definitely like pastry chefs and and uh, you know confectioners out there that are interested in this. The chocolate chocolate printers have been around for a little bit, and there's been different implementation. <laughs> he says, uh, the American quarter. Quarter. "Sorry, no, that's okay. <laughs> we'll take it." But um, you know, I, I think it's I think it's neat. Um, how, how do you how do you go from something from novelty to use utility? It's got to be used for something, you know, right. like like a. Like a like a confectioner would use. <laughs> Tim says here he gave a dollar. He says here's a real dollar. Oh boy! Uh, know, the pancake uh, printer, the pancake. I don't know if you want that shot. So my my buddy is actually the inventor of the pancake bot. I went to school with him, Miguel, uh, and uh, it's uh, <laughs> it, it's one of those things where I think people like think it's great and all that, and it ends up just sitting in the garage. And it's like no no offense to to Miguel or anything, but it's like how do you and it, maybe that's just like every other cooking novelty that you go and get at Bed Bath and Beyond, right? The kids enjoy it. One, one time you you make some starfish pancakes, right. and then it's in the garage, right? So that would be. I mean, like, let's be honest. That's a lot of our three D printers. <laughs> I guess uh, so. I yeah, guess yeah. So. But uh, I think it would be fun. So, um, ah, man, time is flying tonight. So we. Uh, <laughs> so did you hear they're going to start printing chicken nuggets? No. <laughs> 
<laughs> nugget nugget printer. Nugget printers? Well, I mean, why not, right? It's, it's like we're in the we're in the age of we're in the age of of I can't believe it's not meat or whatever it's called. Right. Meat. What was that? Um, Two point I forgot. Lindsay and I watched a series right before the baby came. Yeah. I believe it was on um I believe it was on Amazon Prime and uh upload, I think, or uh something like that. Someone else there, someone out there needs and probably knows what I'm talking about. Um oh yeah, upload right there. Someone's saying it. Well, you're on your way to upload. Yeah. So it's it, have you seen that? I haven't seen upload. I just watched yeah. I watched a movie called Archive last night, which Archive. was really neat, but that's not what you're talking about. Upload is essentially yeah, yeah. where they can take your memories and all that and upload you into a computer so you can live forever in a virtual world. That's well, that's kind of the basis of what archive was about too, but maybe it's different. So I have to uploads the one where like they find out they're dead. Right. And uh, I, yeah, yeah. I did see the, the previews for that. So I guess it's the, in the same vein. Uh, <laughs> wild. I'm getting links for the chicken nugget printer. Oh boy! Well, that'd be perfect uh, for you saw uh, uh, useless inventions uh, chicken nugget necklace holder, didn't you? Did you see that? So you can print yeah. them out, put them in your little necklace uh, nugget yeah. necklace. Yeah, I love it. Oh, uh, uh, off. Uh, Marcel says he played an extra on the show. Upload. <laughs> oh, nice. nice. That's pretty cool. I, that actually was a really good show. I, I I liked it a lot, and it's where it took you was in, it was it was crazy. But I'll uh, have to check it out. Yeah. Um but yeah, so wow, we, we, we that kind of went off track, but that's okay. It was a good it was a good conversation. I like it. So I think we agree it's hot. Have we ever had we don't really put anything on here and be like that is not hot. Like we we're too we're too nice, Jim. Like we don't we're not good at just trashing people. It's like we love hot stuff. This is hot makes. It's not not right. makes. So Well, I yeah. saw it and I was like, "God, this is awesome. We need to we need to show this." And and I know Carl's doing a lot of work to get that thing going. Also, he's working on the uh, was it C thirty uh, CR thirty CR thirty is the uh, uh, how's that? reality uh, new thing. Um, unofficially, how's that going, Carl? Because that's uh, that's another one that I want to check out. But um, well, that's not that's not released yet. That's uh, no. did he actually get did he actually get his hands on one? Because yeah, yeah. Naomi has been keeping it close to the vest. He's uh. He's had one for a while. Like I think it came pretty beat up in the in the mail, so uh -huh. they got him some replacement parts and all that stuff. But I think he's really uh, uh, working it over. I think they're still in design phase or or at least check you know test phase and stuff. But um, just CR thirty just finished setting up Marlin two oh six for it. Carl said so. Nice. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, well, um, we'll have to have a hot or not follow up because it's a hot concept, but I want to see prints rolling off the end of that thing. Yes, for sure. Let's do it. So, you ready for some? What should we do? We should do some hot mess t this week, huh? Start with the mess. Yeah, we'll start with the mess since I since we didn't get to it last week. Um, let me get over here and share what we got cooking. What we got. Nope, let's not do that. There we go. Boom. All right. So that is full size, huh? Interesting. What do we got? I think I might do this so it's a little bit bigger because that's kind of hard to see. So yeah. we got Blazing Johnny 95, those epic fails. Uh, it looks like he had some good leak here between the uh, block. Oh, I'm seeing it now. Yeah, right in here. At first, I thought I was seeing a reflection off of like a, a piece of bed glass. Yeah, it kind of does look now. like that, right? So it's like his heat break was leaking there. Between yeah, it was the... leaking out, which huh. is always not a fun um, mm -mm. to it. But um, let's see what else we got cooking. Oh yeah, this was a uh, inspire Chris Chris Freeze designed this, right? Mm. It was a Catwoman bust. Great mm -hmm. job, nice design. And then um, Josh, speaking of was trying to print it and <laughs> <laughs> that's what he got out of it we just got a, a, some cleavage and yeah and and um, and the spaghetti yeah. mess be yeah. careful what i say here yeah 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 i get you basically he says it spaghetti and caught the nozzle and knocked it off the bed so mm -hmm. yeah that happens um, yeah that's unfortunate there josh <laughs> did you ever part. get it to he's in the chat did you ever get it to print correctly um next 
this was a Chris Riley. I'm not. I don't remember if I showed this one already, but Ooh, he's a unicorn check artist. He calls this one unicorn cotton candy. <laughs> I dig. Yeah, that's uh, obviously a multicolor, right? And it's got all the essential globs. Right. All the good, all the good color globs. Unicorn. I would have said unicorn poop, but you know, unicorn cotton candy works too. Yeah. Um. Oh, in three, I, I finally got one first. Three D printing world says <laughs> for the hot makes. Nice job. So here's another. Uh, here's another one, and um, this was three D printing world's uh, actually, and it, it looks like he was having a bad day. He said these things didn't go swell for me today, and this was the first picture. Uh, and it looks like that is a mess. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he lost his uh, fan shroud there too, or something like. Yeah, right here. Yep, that that happens. Looks like that came out, and those are the not. worst fails when it's like not only is it a print failure, but it damages right. the printer as well. It looks like this could be the heat sock, maybe. Yeah. Uh, and then the next picture is <laughs> it looks like a bike crashed. <laughs> so that's me uh, throwing my bike in the lake after my print right. failed. Yeah. Um, I'm attempted to ride my bike over the rocks between the pond and the bush. Uh, I'm going to reprint it, but I don't think I'll be riding my bike between there again. <laughs> so did he fall into the pond? I, I think he, I think he crashed. Yeah. So oh, man. that is a hot mess. Um, uh, yeah. So hopefully you're feeling better on that one. Cause I probably didn't feel the best. What do we got next year? Oh, that's my, that's my hot mess. Yours. Yeah. That's the Kraken uh, rat released on me. So what's going on here? Well, I was uh, I was trying to make a dice tower for for a buddy. Um, you know, he saw one, and this was um, one I found. I think it was on PrusaPrinters.org or whatever. But the was what it Thulu Sathulu? I don't remember its name. But anyway, uh, it was like a fail, and then a fail recover. Like I walked, uh, you know, it's like it came off the bed, but then. It somehow came by, and then somebody put like the perfect gift for it. If you scroll down, um, and I, I was very amused by that. The uh, the old yeah, here it is. So it's like you go, you bust it, you you biff on the grind, but then you like you pull it, and then yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what happened. It's just recovery, yeah. recovery. Oh, oh, we're good. We're I'm good. good. I meant to do that. I meant to do that. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm so, gonna have to say that's that's a pretty fancy. That's like art. Yeah, well, you know, it, it kind of. So what I ended up doing was I brought. I mean, I printed it again. And it was fine, but I ended up breaking off that bottom piece, and then it just looked like he was like sitting on a bed of kelp, and, and my buddy liked nice. it. So he ended up with the nice. ended up with both the fail and the good one, and it worked. It still worked. It, it was still at a point where you could drop dice in there, and it would still you know spit out and roll. So <laughs> nice. M mission it accomplished. Slowed the dice down a little bit. Down. Yeah, there. I was just like, Bleh. it kept them from rolling off the table, right? Nice. That's awesome. All right. What do we got next here? Oh, yes. Um, a nice, beautiful print of uh, Wexter's samurai mask. Can't wait. Can't wait to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like a beard. I think it looked like a ginger beard. <laughs> ginger beard. Is that what you just said? Ginger yes. beard. Yes. Nice. Oh man. Give me one second here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna attempt to try something here. The red beard, the pirate. Oh, uh, all right. Now talk. I am the very model of a modern major general. Da, 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 yes. Da. What did it do? It went, you went robot on me again. Oh, I did. Oh, okay. But but I was thinking um, this time I was prepared, and I uh, set up another set of speakers to see if it was the speakers. We could test it. Okay. So what was it? I don't know. I put you back on the original speaker and you're fine. So <laughs> I still I still blame your internet. Yeah, right. I, maybe I your maybe your sound card is overheating. It might be. You know what? It <laughs> it happened about the time I changed my video card. Do but, you do you uh, have a dis you don't have a discrete sound card, do you? Does anybody no, have a don't. discrete sound card anymore? No. It's all just maybe someone out there does. Um <laughs> Sarah <laughs> Johnson yeah, said she's I've made to the last myself. one. Chris Gulata. Bowden fitting failure. Oh man, we gotta love on that. The, the, the Bowden fitting. Yeah. So the, if the Bowden fitting failed, it released all this unprinted. Uh, it just probably was pushing unprinted filament out into the middle of nowhere here. 
Yes, yes, it uh, was. So, so my question, Chris, because I think you're here. Um, <laughs> someone said Sound Blaster. That's Sound Blaster. Right. Yeah, Sound Blaster uh, Pro. So, uh, my question is: Did you use this <laughs> tape measure to measure how much got released? Uh, <laughs> probably not. Probably not. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with no, but it would be awesome. Um, but yeah, that's that's definitely classic when the boat and fitting fails, and all of a sudden you come home to uh. Not only, well, you know, it looks like something printed here, though. So yeah, uh, some something printed, and then it probably stopped, and then, you know, I've I've had that. I don't know if it was because the Bowden failed or what, but I've definitely had just the unrolled spool. <laughs> you guys got the dial up. Oh man, M Miss Printer says I sounded like a robot. Do you think he heard? Did he hear me as a robot too? Uh, um, maybe I don't it is. Maybe it wasn't just you. I don't know. I, uh, where I didn't see it. Where does he say that? Oh, he said Pooch is a robot with seven oh. exclamation points. That I mean, that's what I heard. Uh, last week I recorded on my phone and I showed you. Maybe he's <laughs> just agreeing. Maybe like he's the the, the, yeah. the truth is out that I am actually a robot. Is what he's saying. R two my R two D two heard you. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Pooch sounds fine. Now that's subjectable. Thank you, Dan. Uh, Thank you. So, <laughs> Dan right. just said I'm fine. Let's jump into some hot makes because I know we got. Do we have a food rant today? Oh heck yeah, man! I'm fired oh, up. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, it's Ooh. not time to rant yet. Okay. First, 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 we got our good friend, and he's on the chat right now too. Uh, yeah. He shot us one. He's not on the Twitter much, but he did shoot us this. Um, it, resins. It, yeah, it's the resins inserted to the cast where. Let's see. Where the Kinder toy is trapped inside of it. Right. Um, I poured too much in. In a resolute yellowish and exploration demand. Of, okay, I see what you're saying. So let's pop this open. There we go. So it looks like he he resined a bunch of stuff into this table. Has he been watching Evan and Caitlin's channel? Is that uh, maybe because it's a table and it's resin. It's a resin table. I bet he loves Evan and Caitlin. What do you think? Are you following them? Maybe. Yeah. Anyway, I definitely. They, these they, are from Kinder they, Eggs. These are all Kinder toys. Yeah, I, all resined in. Highly, highly illegal here in the states, by the way. What? You gotta, yeah, no, true story. The actual Kinder eggs, the OG Kinder eggs, are illegal here. And not only are they illegal here, but there's like some ridiculous fine if you try to import them, like a thousand dollars per Kinder egg you try to import in here or something like uh, customs. But basically, because you, you're familiar with what a Kinder egg is. Jim? I have uh, heard of them, but I don't know if there's any egg. like controversy. I don't know it. It's a chocolate egg. So chocolate, okay. chocolate shell, hollow on the inside. Inside, there's a little toy. It's like the surprise toy, but inside the chocolate egg. So the fear here is that some kid is just going to put the whole thing in their mouth and then swallow the toy. But if you ever have opened one of these things, first of all, like the egg that's inside of them is like it's like those little things you used to get out of the twenty-five cent you know dial thing where it's like a bubble. You know, right, it's right. pretty big. It's pretty big, but there's, you know, there's restrictions. But thanks to our FDA or whoever makes the thing, like, you're not allowed to completely embed food inside of or a toy inside of food. So it's not like Cracker Jacks where you like have it in the box or whatever. It's like the food it surrounds it, right? Yeah. But yeah. they're huge in Europe. Like they're like every kid's favorite thing because they're really cool little toy. It's not like the yes. crummy stuff you would get in the Cracker Jacks. You look at some of these and they'd be like you know, fully functional miniature bicycles and pullback cars and transformers and, you know, whatever else. You know, cool stuff. <laughs> Robbie Mac. Probably. Oh, man, Everything man. causes cancer here, man. So Life, life causes cancer. Well, nice nice work. That, that has to be a really cool project. But not only that, but you have a ton of these things. <laughs> Look the, at dude, this. the dude downs some Kinder eggs, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, mean, I, I like must, it. He must love the chocolate. Now, I'd love to see more detail on how 40, 40 kilograms of uh, epoxy and 40 kilograms and beach turned wood there we go how big is that where's the banana for scale i mean it's got a bunch <laughs> of little kinder egg toys for scale so it's a decent size 40 yeah egg. i mean i would never have guessed 40 kilos that's a lot <laughs> mike says you can buy them in canada canadian kids are smarter <laughs> oh probably, that's probably funny. Cool, man. This is a really cool project. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. And uh, don't be afraid to jump on here and share more with us. I know 
you know, we chat back and forth on uh, on the different social medias, and he wanted to make sure that I saw this because he didn't didn't get on Twitter a lot. So nice job. Uh, they're not smarter, Mike. They're just politer when they choke yeah. and die. They just say, "Oh, sorry, my bad." Eh? Right. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna rapid fire some of these because I, I was behind because we didn't do one a couple weeks ago. So I'm still trying to catch up a little bit, and so I did a that's, ton tonight. That's um, my boy and, Noob right there. Go for it. Yeah, and I um I accidentally got rid of it. There we go. So uh, yeah, this was a this was definitely um, 3D Maker Noobs, and. Yeah, I mean, dude's got talent, man. His yeah, paint—I didn't realize his painting talent is is really pretty, pretty good. Hell yeah, that's awesome. And and, and so with that, oh my gosh, um, here we go. Some more dragons. Are there be dragons? And there's some little gloop there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. little gloop ad. Yep. Oh, the feet maybe. Okay. Maybe they uh, came off. Like yeah, the little mat. Perfect. It's all about the dragons. See. Uh, Let's see. Wellbot threw him on here. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. I've been dragging my feet on this one. Ha! Huh? Ha! Huh? Whoa. He ch channeled his inner Brian Vines on that yeah, one. Yeah, he is. So nice work on the dragons. Wow. What is going on? And more dragons. The Wellbot there, dragons. There will be someone, dragons on the proofs of many. Yeah. Look at the colors here. One of my new favorites. That's what someone called out. The colors in this thing are phenomenal, by the way. Look at oh. that. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. I'm such a Prusa fanboy. I told I told you I just got a mini, right? You just got your first one, yeah. I think. Yeah. Well, they've been they've been they've been really delayed shipping wise because I don't know if you've heard or not. But we got this thing called coronavirus. It's really messing with what? them. What? Yeah. But anyway, I got it. It's pretty pretty rad. Nice, Terry. Yeah. Terry does it again first. The spigot light. You remember the spigot light? Of course, I remember the yeah. spigot light. I love it. We talked about how the switch worked, and it was yeah. yeah. Brilliant uh, design. Check out this. Finished the clock he's been working on for a few days. Posted a build video. So check out his build video. Um, don't forget, all of the links that we do today are in the Google Doc in the description of the video here. Uh, special thanks to Maker Muse for making music available to use. Um, that's another cool thing. Did you see that? He um, uh, no. Angus put out a whole bunch of, of music for, for creators to use and stuff as long as you tag him. Just royalty free stuff. I didn't know yeah. Angus made music. So he's he's a musician. He just does some. So. Oh, cool. Well, maybe next week we'll we'll play some. Yeah, we'll do, we'll review Angus's first uh, like al it. album dropping. I love the grain on this. What? Right. So it's it's because he layered, he layered mm -hmm. multiple together and then do, and but yeah. the way the way he did that is really awesome. Nice job, Terry. Very cool. I like that it's got layer lines too. It was like an homage to three D printing, which is <laughs> obviously what it was going for, right? I like it. Nice work on that, Terry. Heck of a job. Wow, what are these things doing? Uh, this this was pretty funny. I had to throw this in here just because it was funny. <laughs> breaking news. Everybody come down. This just in breaking news. Uh, Frenzy <laughs> won't step back after 5,000 followers. <laughs> he still whisper. won't step down. That's was, that for, was that Fareed? Fareed Zakar? Did he tag Fareed on that? He should. Uh, graffiti. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, yeah commentator, he's on there. The commentator. Oh, there he, no, no, that's for Ed. No, no, no. I'm talking about the, the actual comment. Never. Oh, this, don't worry the, about it. Yeah, that I dude. Yeah. I love it. It's hilarious. All right. Next. He beat me. He beat me to 5K, the jerk. On what? I think, I don't know. Was it Twitter? What, what was the what was so. the count? Twitter followers? I think it was. He does a lot more interesting stuff, though, to be fair, than I do. So. <laughs> I'm way far away from that on Twitter, so. Uh, most difficult print I've ever done, but still quite a nice outcome. Oh, um, Looking at here, it's a is a Spartan. There we go. Oh, it's a it's the like undead a, god king. The god king. God I mean, look king. at the coming out of the 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 ground there. Dang! Phenomenal print here. It's, how is that's a resin? Uh, I don't believe so. This came off of a. a he's big? tagged Slice Engineering and Bontech. So how big is that? Um, Where's the banana, man? There's and and there's a hot mix, but I there's no. Uh, it's no hot. Scale. It's no, hot. Scale. no doubt, no doubt. Well, this is leaf. You know, these are leaves behind him, so it can't be that big. Well, but he's superimposed. That's there true. wasn't actual leaves back there. You don't think so? <laughs> no. He said it in his yard. <laughs> you think you think it's maybe he did i don't know maybe maybe all right next so uh <laughs> oh man oh this was awesome what 
uh, this is Daryl. Uh, well, Daryl's awesome anyway. Yeah. Uh, but inspired by Aquaman, um, using Adafruit with a, um, let's see, Phenom. There you go. Striatech. Look at this thing. Wow. Let's see. I'll pop his open because this is, is phenomenal. There we go. I can't believe how how fast it feels like he I, – I mean, I'm sure it feels like it takes forever to him, but it just seems like he just cranks out these amazingly detailed things so quickly. Right. Well, and, and the cool thing about this is someone can um, – correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe tested um, – uh, the podcaster or, or something mentioned him, actually brought this up in their last one. Um, and I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure they, they actually brought this up. Let's so good. I love uh, that effect. But that is it's phenomenal. Yeah. 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 Well done, Daryl, as nice. always. Nice work. It'll make the rest of us look bad. <laughs> yeah. So on says, yep. So I'm pretty sure that's right. Tested. I think it was in their podcast. I haven't watched it. I haven't watched the last couple, but um, I'm pretty sure they brought that up. Here's another really cool. Uh, um, hey, how you doing? Here's another really cool uh, die. Like it's a model D60. Oh wow! You, so sixty sided die. I guess so. You fill it with uh, fill it with water. I and... mean, at some point, you're getting pretty close to a sphere, right? So yeah, right. Obviously not quite on 60 sides. Says, but, uh, yeah. Also using blue lit. I'm not sure what that blue. is. L-I-T. Shaking it once it's settled, you're, it's like you're flipping a light switch. So let's see if I can open this. Look at that. Wow. That's pretty cool. Huh. <laughs> Zolon has a hundred-sided die, he says. Sides. At some point, don't you just... Isn't isn't a hundred enough, Zolan? Is that ever going to be enough sides for you? How many sides <laughs> do you really need? Brian Vines oh, tagged this one, Fab three hundred and sixty five, and it's all about the tanks, little tracks. That's cool. Tank I tracks. love to do this. Yep. I love little tanks because the tracks and stuff are so cool. because this has got a roll, you know. Yeah. It moves, articulates. Cool. Nice work. Um, You're just making a foldable one. Sweet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sydney, um, any cubic uh, castle, and this is uh, Esun silk copper. Wow. Look at that. Salmon base. It's, that that, that is, hot. is dope. That is hot. Uh, nice work. Must have all the dice. <laughs> It looks yeah. like a, it looks like a golf ball. It says Zolan when you get to a hundred sides. She is right. Oh, that, true. Uh, just take a golf one. ball and then just very finely write all your numbers in the divots. <laughs> right. How do you dice it up? <laughs> Justin T says. Hey, uh, speaking of Justin T, I think the, uh, I think he has a stream on after ours. So uh, check all out right. Justin's channel after this, and I believe the guys are going to stream over there. Um, so don't forget to check that out. If you haven't checked out them, they, they have a, a lot of fun on their streams. So this reminds me of a dragon egg. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Oh, this is cool. There we go. Ooh, a little Winnie the Pooh. Pooh bear. Um, yeah. Ooh, there we go. Someone did a really good job on this. Hi. Um, is it, uh, <laughs> it's not a multi-material, is it? It's a uh, multiple part it assembled. Say, found it on Thingiverse. That's a great model. Yeah, it's a, it's definitely an awesome model. It must be multiple parts, though, right? I it's got to be. There's a gap here. Yeah, think so. I'd be curious to see how the spillover Kevin, works. Kevin, if you're in, let us know. Um, Honey, let's see what else do we got. Dan, everybody needs a, a break. He's like a streamer. This monster. is my favorite of the day. Pooch says hot, hot, hot. Yeah. Hot. A handbag made from empty spools. Mia always makes the coolest stuff, but I mean, this this is great. I've, I'm always a big fan of the what the heck do I do with this spool once it's empty? Because I, I can't bring myself right. to just toss them or put them in the recycling or whatever. And this is one of the coolest. Uh, you know, we've seen the trays and we've seen uh, what else have we seen with them? That people have done, but this is the first, you know, practical wearable uh, that that I could see 
I don't know. I don't know how many people would actually carry one of those around, but I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I like it. I, I'd be curious to know, Mia, when you wa rewatch this, t tell us how often you've been carrying that around and what, what volume of material can you keep in there, right? Right. It looks like a lot. And it looks like she probably did. She end up taking the um, the core of it out. The yeah, the it looked like she did right. She just so it's just, the just the flanges that she's right. using on that, but still very cool. That's Bullet cool. Bill, classic. Ge Geeky Faye strikes again with her proto pasta. Empire strikes metallic black. Um, it's Bullet Bill. Excellent huh? filament choice for Bullet Bill there. Yeah, Geeky Faye. I love it. I love it. Look at oh, that. that's cool. I like that she did this. All the different She's colors. Cool. Filamentum Traffic Black. Uh, Filamentum Pearl Ruby Red. 3D Jake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ecopola? Ecopola? Eco. Eco. P-L-A. P-L-A. Oh, yeah. Been hearing a lot about yeah. that 3D Jake. That's, yeah. You know, he's, a, is he, he's over in the UK or somewhere in the EU, but there was a lot of people Eco. recommending his stuff over the weekend. Apparently, I can't talk. So, And that's for uh, scale, I guess. What, Geeky Faye for scale? Yeah, geeky fairy for scale. Yeah, perfect. That's the sweet little bullet die. That's that's awesome. Bullet bill. That's one. Yeah. All right, just a couple more here. Uh, speaking of the die, the Steph queen, the queen oh master of the die, Steph Sharp. Yes, phenomenal. She's all about her little resin. Uh, you Look know, bullet, so she's, she. Uh, she. What was the stream where she was doing? I think it was the. Um, uh, when we were doing the 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 thing for the Australian fires, the fourteen forty maker stream, where she was like actually showing off her her mold making process, and but look at the look at the little cloudiness in there. That's one of I my love favorite. that. It's like sea foam. So good, yeah, sea foam. So right? awesome. Nice. All right. <clears throat> oh, the hammer! The hammer is done. It's done. Yes. Shannon's hammer. We featured this last week. We talked about it. She showed it, and she said, "Hey, it wasn't. It was just um, you know, she just had the head." positioned yep. on something but she got a nice looking piece i'm gonna guess is it hickory what is it did she say would uh, she go for the handle nope she just says hammer done it is a gorgeous beast uh, i agree i don't see <laughs> it's just wept with pride <laughs> i know right that's awesome though nice work. Right, where's my wood where's my wood people out there i know yeah. hickory is a common handle choice given <laughs> it's hard enough Here's another here's another cool one. Um, you know, putting all these projects together so she can uh, hand draw, laser cut, hand paint, stain, assemble, all of the above. So nice, Lauren. Um, oh, that's a great, great new uh, product line for her. Yeah, it's very, it's very creative, very unique. Um, I can see a lot of people really getting into these. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Hot. That is that's awesome. What'd you say, hon? Oh. Lindsay and the baby are here. What up, Lindsay and the baby? <laughs> One more. And this is a finale. Johnny Five. This is a finale to one of the coolest things we've shown. No Remember disassemble. the articulation. Yep. It's moving. Oh my gosh. It's uh Blinking, I saw him blink. His eyes That's light a, up. It's oh a, my god, that is a legit Johnny Five. You got audio? You got any uh, audio? Oh, there's this, he's doing angry. He's doing angry, Johnny Five. I don't hear anything. Oh man, no, I don't hear anything on my side. But uh, Who, who's uh, who's sh whose make is this again? I the, it's the best. That's the best Johnny Five. I've That's seen. a legit Johnny and, Five, uh, dude. That's like Dave, Dave Stapley. It looks woo! like Stapley Stapley. Um. Wow, man. Nice. You know what, Jim? Scuba Jim, I think the gauntlet has been thrown down, man. Robotics. Ah, uh, yeah. Gauntlet. I mean, look, like, Scuba Jim does awesome stuff. Packy does awesome robotics stuff. I mean, there's so many. You know, <clears throat> there's, you know it, that's the beauty of this, this uh, you know, 3D printing space. Right. Like, there's so many little sub culture, sub, sub niches in there. Right. Robotics being one of them. Cosplay being another one, you know. Resin table makers. Oh, you want to hold them? All right, hang on. Good. She had to come say hi. Hello. Lindsay, we were talking about your video. Yeah. We loved it. Actually, I, have my, I haven't seen it yet. So. <laughs> it's actually, I haven't seen it. I lost some. Oh, someone says they lost audio. I saw the thumbnail and I got, I got grossly offended and I couldn't <laughs> click on it. I'm sorry. 
Nice. But I'm glad it was a success no, and uh, that you got, you could join the family business this way. Yes, he's so cute. He loves watching. He's he got this. He's he wide. Heard, he yeah. heard you guys talking. He was oohing and eyeing. <laughs> His eyes you, are wide open. Offended. Uh oh. 3D three D Miss Printers offended. <laughs> 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 too funny everybody's saying love the video audio's fine so cute he's getting so big yes he's getting huge um they're, they're talking about you jim i know he's bigger than the next door neighbor's granddaughter who's two months older than him yes wow oh should i show him the picture yes oh my god <laughs> the charts he's, he's off the charts already um so Wait, we be careful with that <laughs> yeah what are they gonna do defund the video <laughs> Defund, yeah. Defund hot mix, cancel culture, <laughs> man. They're gonna defund hot mix. This is, is pretty Damn funny. It. Yeah. So, so the neighbor uh, had their granddaughter over, and yep. it was his birthday. I walked over and said, "Hey, has she ever seen?" Um, I'm sitting on the side here. Has she ever seen another baby? And and they said, "No, she's five months old and and never seen another baby." And um, so let me just do this and and blow your minds. Okay. So we sat him up in the little chair outside. Oh wow! And uh, he is a he's a monster at not even three months compared to her. But um, yeah, your favorite. Yeah, it, <laughs> Lindsay should ask why her video wasn't part of Hot Mix. It was. We talked about it in the beginning. Um, uh -oh. So, uh oh, someone's crabby. But check this out. So so this is pretty funny. So this is this is a video, and there's a couple pictures, and they're so cute, right? I mean, yeah. He has his uh, Milwaukee Brewers baseball uh, yeah, shirt does, on because it was opening was for baseball. Yeah. Sarah Johnson says hi, honey. Sarah Johnson. And um, so then, so they're sitting there casually, and then right. this happens. And um, oh no! So we're like, "Hey, what's going on?" You know. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. So they, uh, so we laughed. Uh oh. So we laughed about that for quite a long time. And uh I yeah, it was a, it's probably the cutest thing ever because you know it was awesome. <laughs> defunded right there. So we got just totally defunded. That's uh, okay. Speaking uh, of speaking of being defunded, uh I think it's time for, for some rants. I'm channeling some rage on this one. Give me go, bring me bring me big. Listen. Okay, today's rant is something that I think is near and dear. We've seen it. There's been a lot of drama around it and stuff. But the, I, I, I got to rant for a minute about these channels, these YouTube channels or whatever, that will just literally part and parcel, take other content, repost it as their own on their own channel. And we've seen it happen. And it's not always with like the big man. Yeah, it's you know it happens to the Joels and to the Maker Muses and all that stuff for sure. But you know, uh, even like I think Geeky Faye had an incident recently, or or anybody else. And I'm like, I'm really sitting down and I'm like, what is the logic to this? I mean, is it is it they're just trying to make a quick buck? Like there's they're gonna be able to get enough clicks or views or whatever that they can get a couple cents from that? Like I'm missing something here. But regardless of the reasoning, it's just rude and i'm hope i'm i'm not hopeful i guess what i mean what do, what do you think jim like is it could it be bots is it just bots is it just somebody uh, like man. malicious is it maliciousness it's what garbage. is happening what? it is garbage it is there's is no place for it make your own content put your own content on your own page stop ripping off other people's content there's definitely been a bunch of makers or a bunch of people out there that will post and misrepresent and and will they just don't care they right. just don't care, right? They'll be like, "Nah, I, you know, saw it." The same thing. They're, they're the same people that probably don't respect copyright rules or uh, open source licensing terms or any of that stuff. Like, we just have to accept that there are people out in this world that are a holes. And, they are. and, and I think the recent thing I've seen about this, and I, I think with the reason why uh, we we were talking a little bit about it before, is is Billy Rubin shared a post like a week or two ago. Yes. And, um, and it's like, you know, she did so much work on a document and then people took her name off the top 
and like, shared it as their own. Gratuitous. Like she does those amazing infographics, right? So yes, that's a perfect example of this. It's not necessarily a video, but there's a lot of time that goes into those. And she spends a lot of time and energy uh, uh, really distilling down. If you haven't seen Billy Rubin's uh, infographics, by the way, if you're getting started, especially, she's got some really great troubleshooting yeah. guides for like you're having layer adhesion like here's what to check out like what's just even the breakdowns but but yeah i mean let's just crop it out that's the same thing was happening with naomi right where it's like she had those things and they were just like let's just crop out the watermark and right. naomi had a great comment on that she's like i'm the watermark like you can see me on the video <laughs> i don't need a watermark you know that's not going to prevent any of that right. i just i don't know we can i can rant about it until i'm blue in the face there's always somebody that's going to do it Right. And I know but people just, in the chat are, are definitely agreeing and uh, they're finding stuff on eBay and all sorts of places that it's definitely ripped off, you know, but, but uh, uh, man, I mean, I don't think it's ever going to stop. It's just, let's, let's call them out if we see it. Right. Call it out, call it out. Um, and you know what? Let's, let's, I think they're, they're I, I don't know. Like, I, I'm, what I'm talking about too, th these are not first time offenders. Cause I think there are people out there that um, just aren't aware of, Licenses. So, so for, for example, like you see it on eBay all the time. People will be like, oh, these are awesome prints. I'm going to print them and put them up for sale thinking, oh, it's open source and so I can do that. And, and, and when told that, no, you can't do that necessarily, like a lot of people will comply. But there are people out there uh, that we've seen time and time again where they're just like, oh, no, this is in the public domain now, which is completely not true. Like just because something is out there doesn't make it – you know, free for your use and monetization. Hundred percent agree, and a little late on those graphics. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh. I remember. Wait, we have graphic. Robbie Mac made an awesome graphic here, and I totally botched that. But right. no, I, it's it's garbage, and I I wish it would stop. I don't think it ever will stop. Um, and I want a pooch smash graphic like Hulk style, but like I'll just and then I'll have purple shorts, and I'll turn green. Like, can you make me turn green, like the Hulk, <laughs> and then I can smash. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. Dan oh, said, what are you talking about? As soon as this episode ends, I'm going to put it up on my channel. That is not okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> we could probably stand to get syndicated, but whatever. People are like, what? I, don't, I don't think that would benefit you, Dan. It might, hurt, it might harm you. The White Knight is on Etsy, but it's open source. <laughs> Pooch smash, people are saying. Smash. Nice. Um, cool. Well, I know we're running late. I know uh, Justin wants to jump on. He didn't start his stream yet because he's still chatting in here. But, uh, you know, thank you guys for coming. I really appreciate it. Pooch, another great rant. I love it. Um, we got to steal some of this footage and, and get it over to uh, up down, Caleb. Up, down, up, down. Left, right, left, right. A, B, A, B, select start. And <laughs> so a lot of people are commenting on, on your shirt earlier, like two or three people said they need it. And another person said, I'm wearing one too, like a Nintendo shirt. So, um, so good. But, but anyways, you guys have a great night. Thank you guys for spending a little, a little, uh, over an hour with us. And, uh, where's the Atari t-shirt by the way. Um, and <laughs> maybe next week, <laughs> maybe next week i got three more woot shoots woot shirts but that's keep, uh, keeping up keeping it going with the woot man oh man woot, i got woot. a couple on so um i i did say something about a giveaway you just reminded me we haven't done a giveaway in a I while promised, i promised a giveaway let me see if i can bring up um let's give stuff away let's do it let's give it all away i want to give all that stuff uh, log in all I, that got stuff a, I got a there. roll of filament that i want to give away it's only half used yeah, <laughs> only half used. <laughs> it's uh, only somewhat waterlogged. Yeah, I mean, hey, you could use the Sunlu dryer to <laughs> dry it. No, uh, let's see. Giveaways. Is it Sunlu? Uh, Is it Sunlu? Uh, Sunlu, yeah. I Sun think Boot shirts always fall apart easily. Nice. You're right. Thank you for reminding me about that. I totally forgot about the uh, giveaway. If you're still here, we're going to do it. Let me just do a keyword. So what happens, you get, you are rewarded for sticking around. You hang out, you hang out late with us, maybe you win some swag. Right. I like it. Some of Jim's gently used filament. <laughs> just gently used. <laughs> I promise it's not um, gently used. So <laughs> it's not you, you used it really hard. It was Yeah, exactly. You used hard and put away wet as they say. Best video. <laughs> So let's do a keyword filament 
Everybody in the chat, hit that keyword. Start typing yes. filament only one time, please. Oh, and uh, we're going to give away some filament. Uh, only jams every 10th layer. Yes. First. No. Wait. No, you're first. So every 10th layer jams. <laughs> yeah. That'd be an evil, evil hack, right? Just to make like. Right. It's like exploding golf balls, but like with filament, it's like exploding layers. I'm going to make this Player one good explodes. because we waited and because everyone here is still here. I'm, I'm going to make this a good one. Double down. Sweeten the pot. Nerdy J, sweeten the pot. What do you got? Act Get now. Get that filament. Not only will we throw in the filament, yeah. but you'll also get – tell them. Uh, uh, well, you're only going to get the filament. <laughs> I thought you said you were going to make it really good. I'm sorry. Oh, it's going to be good. Okay. Oh, is uh, it, and you even re-vacuum sealed it to appear brand it's new. It's vacuum sealed right here. It's it's may it may have lost its seal. I'm not sure. It's not it's not like super tight, but it's still sealed in here. What you can do, like uh, it's a treat it like it's a rattlesnake. Cut it open and then just suck it until <laughs> you like reseal it. Uh, let's do this one more time. How about Pooch's bathwater? No, we're not giving that away. That's coveted in some circles. Joke's on uh, you. I don't take baths uh, or, sh or showers. They're saying Pooch get closer, look straight into the camera. Oh boy, I see, I see, uh, pictures going galore. So we'll give you about thirty more seconds, and while we're talking about it, you need to type the word filament in there, and this. It's actually weed whacker line. <laughs> Is Weed Whacker line. That go good with Destin's videos lately. You know how much Destin loves doing his Weed Whacker videos. Here you go. You ready? Smarter, smarter every day. Yep. Matter Hackers. Nylon X. Oh, Nylon X. Okay. Woo! All right. All right. Better have the abrasive, anti-abrasive nozzle. Better have the I ruby. I Better have you, as I rub my eye because I just got something in it. Oh. I told you I'm make this worth it. This is a super expensive roll of filament. That's a, that's and, uh, a primo roll, my friend. Primo yes. roll. Throw that in the dryer before you, uh, yes. before you print with it. Get yourself a, somehow dry this before just in case. Nylon X. So I'm going to do that uh, because you guys stuck around and I almost forgot. We got over 80 people on still. So if you have not typed the word filament like yeah. this in the, uh, box, in the chat, do it. Mike's this is right. Last chance. Even though he's Canadian, he's right. Regardless, if it's got nylon component, first of all, nylon soaks up water like a sponge. It doesn't matter if it's vacuum yeah. sealed or whatever. You right, should be right. drying every time you're printing with nylon. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm so not up. even the rep box will save you. I am tearing up because this literally just came like two days ago. But and I saw it over here and I was like, man, there's five rolls of filament right there. What can I do to really make this special? Uh, Carl wants off the list, but then he saw nylon. He said, nah, okay, maybe I'll hang around. All right, here we go. <laughs> sure, why not? All right, here we go. What is it? What is it? Who is it? What's it? Ooh, David Who's it? Sell. I don't know who David that is, but congratulations. Sell. Congratulations. David's wait, been wait, wait, for a while. Uh, so, what you need to do, David, if. I mean, you're currently watching because you typed in filament. Um, what you need to do is send me an email, jim at theedgeoftech.com. Congratulations, David Sell. Uh, David jim, Sell? His name is Sell? Yeah, David Sell. Okay. Thanks, David. Thanks hopefully, for watching. Hopefully he's still in and watching. I know he, he did hit the button because he wouldn't have showed up if he didn't. So, See, but uh, sometimes I need you to... Uh, you see Josh. Oh, no, I didn't see Josh. Hang well, Josh on. said something about sweetening the pot. Is Josh uh, throwing something on the giveaway? hardened nozzle to the winner so they what? don't get a new nozzle. What? Josh. Wow. Man. Look at it that. Felt. They didn't even know it at the very end. He just got the bonus prize. David Way to go. Got hooked up. So, David, if you're still watching, um, I'm hoping you are. You just won a roll of Nylon X from Matter Hackers. Which is what, like a sixty dollar roll of filament or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, that's some cool stuff. Um, and oh, and and Josh is throwing in Alien three D hooked yeah. it up. Alien three D hooked it up with a hardened nozzle from Micro Swiss, so you don't have to get another new nozzle to print it. Um, David Sell, he is in. He says thank you. 
None you're of that welcome. soft nozzle nonsense, man. David, you're going yeah. you're going to the big leagues right now. Me, uh, Jim at the edge of tech dot com. Send me an email, David, and I'll get the get your info and we'll get that out to you in the next six to eight weeks. Um <laughs> <laughs> to send a self-sealed stamped envelope. That's right. Now self-addressed, not sealed. Thank you so much for reminding me about that. <laughs> uh, I apologize that I almost forgot about that, and uh, we haven't done a giveaway in so long. I was so excited today, and then I forgot all that about it. That was exciting. That got my blood going, yeah. man. I got my blood pumping. You know what I mean? Sometimes, see, look, it's worth it. Just listening to us blather for an hour. Sometimes you get some sh get some goodies out of it, right? You got a sweet. There's some sweet goodies right here. Sweet goodies. Thanks to Jim. Thanks to Alien 3D for yes. sweetening the pot. Man, what nice. a He's going live next. Justin uh, is going live next. Um, let He's me... waiting. He's waiting to click that. He, he may be button. live already. I'm not sure, but let me Go just... crash his stream. Everybody, we're going over there. Uh, going to Justin's house. I'm going to try to get in Justin's, and I'm going to drop the stream here. Let's see here. Waiting for Justin, 7 p.m. I believe this is the right one. Crash uh, the stream, uh, the crash, green, crash, there we go. The stream, crash, the, the right stream. one. I'm going there now. Justin, uh, Justin, I haven't gotten my invite yet. I'm crashing the party. Where is it? <laughs> We're going. Do it. Send it to like Putin. it or not. We got to go take over for the baby. But you guys have a great week. We will see you next week. And uh, yeah, everybody, stay safe. Have a great week. Happy 3D printing. We'll get some new videos coming. Um, Pooch, this way. He said he's going to crash your party, Justin. Be careful. Let's do it. Oh, send it to him. Did you send me a link, Justin? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he did or not. All right. Hey, <laughs> if you sent me a link, I'll shoot it over to uh, Pooch. But have a great night, everybody. We'll see you guys again next Monday for Hot Makes right here on the Edge of Tech. Later, guys. Good night, everybody.